Here are the answers to our mental math. 8 times $1.25 is $10, because get used to 8 times 125 is, um, 8 times 125 is 1,000. So anytime you see 125 combination with 8, it's going to be a multiple of 10. This one, we just move the decimal over 1, because it got bigger. Okay, this one was mentally, you go, okay, 2 times something plus 5 equals 75. So what I think is, all right, 2 times something equals 70. And that something is 35. Next one, convert three, 35 centimeters to millimeters. There are more millimeters in 35 centimeters than the other way around. And there's actually a, a power of 10. So move that decimal to the right one time. This is just 1 fourth. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So congratulate yourself if you got that. Now we're going to jump into something called multiplying rates. And here's an example or a situation. If you are traveling in a car 50 miles per hour, we can calculate how far you can travel in four hours by multiplying. Okay, so if you're going 50 miles per hour, how far do you go in four hours? Well, you go 200 miles. Um, and we're going to experiment with that. We could also find out how far, how long it would take us to travel 300 miles by doing a division problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at example one and see what they're talking about. Write two forms of the rate given by this statement. Um, eight ounces of the solution cost 40 cents. So these are kind of like what we did unit fractions the other day. Or we could do 40 cents on the bottom. So that's what they mean by that two forms of the rate, okay? Now, find the cost of 32 ounces of the solution, okay? We know how much 8 ounces are, but we don't know how much 32 ounces are. So we're going to say 32 ounces times the rate. Well, and we want to know, we want to end with money, right? So we want cents on top, ounces on the bottom, using one of these units. So it's going to be 8 here, 8 ounces on the bottom, and 40 cents in the numerator. We want to do that because now we can cancel out those units, right? And then I can also do that. So 4 times 40 cents is $1.60. So if you bought 8 ounces of something for 40 cents, you could buy 32, ounce of it, 32 ounces of it for a dollar sixty. Okay, now it says how many ounces can be purchased for a dollar twenty. Okay, so now we've got money. We're like, okay, we got a dollar twenty, and we want to know using that rate how many ounces you can purchase. So we're going to put money on the bottom, right? And like we said, I'm going to write it in that way, and eight ounces goes on top. So, our money label cancels out, and we have decimals, right? That might bother you. So, let's instead do it this way. I thought maybe I would do this, and then I thought I would leave it in decimals, but then I peeked in the book, did it the nicer way. How about 120 cents? And 40 cents. That's virtually the same thing, right? Then with the dollar signs. So when we do that, we can cancel out those cents. Now we've got um, 40 goes into 120 three times. So now we just have 3 times 8, which is 24 ounces. Okay, so you can get 24 ounces just by knowing one one rate we can answer lots of questions. Uh, it happens a lot with uh, speed, okay? Jennifer's speed was 60 miles per hour. Write two forms of the rate given by this statement. So 60 miles one hour or one hour and 60 miles on the bottom. 
Okay, now we're going to put that into use. How far did she drive in five hours? Well, we're going to write five hours. Use the rate where we can get rid of hours. So we would use that, right? And our hours cancel out. And now we get 100. Sorry, I don't know what I got. Not 100, 300 miles. Okay. How long would it take her to drive 300 miles? Well, we already answered that because it was there. I don't know why they did that, but they just want us to show how. So we got 300 miles. Use the other unit where we've got 60 miles on the bottom, one hour on top. Cancel out those units. Six goes into 300 five times. And there we go. When you multiply straight across. Our last one. If pencils cost 25 cents each, how many pencils can Carol Ann buy for $2? Okay. Now they didn't ask us to write a rate, so let's just start out for two dollars and then a rate one pencil so they're saying how many pencils we're gonna have money down here and so one pencil is 25 cents so now our money can cancel out right and we basically are dividing Two dollars divided by twenty-five cents, so you get eight pencils, because there are eight quarters and two dollars, right? Okay, a little different. I kind of went through it a little bit quick, so you ever rewind, you can go back and rewatch whatever you need or call for help. For right now, go ahead and do the practice, and then come back and check your work or check in the answer key. In lecture hall, there were eighteen rows; fifteen chairs were in each row. This one's a little different. You might have wanted to do a unit fraction with 15 and 18. More think of it this way. Um, there are 15 chairs in one row. So 15 chairs in one row. Or one row had 15 chairs. Okay, we're going to use that in order to answer, find the total number of chairs in the lecture hall. Okay, so there were 18 rows. And one row had 15 chairs. You see how I'm putting chairs on top so that the row cancels out? So really we have to do 15 times 18, yikes. Now you probably already knew that common sense wise, but showing how to multiply units is what we are practicing here. I'm doing another late night one, so if I made that, made a mistake there. I expect some feedback. So 270 chairs total in the in the lecture hall. All right. Now, a car would travel 24 miles on 1 gallon of gas. Write two forms. So 24 miles 1 gallon. Now, sometimes you're going to see this it's miles per gal oops, it's miles per hour miles per gallon that's what we're talking about here how many miles can you go on a gallon of gas so it's talking about the efficiency of your car okay or one gallon on top and 24 miles on the bottom how many gallons would it take to travel 160 miles so you start out with 160 and so we want miles down here so they can cancel out gallons on top so one gallon is 24 miles, and we can cancel out our units, and um, 24 probably goes into 160, but I, I don't really know that off the top of my head, but I do know 8 goes into both of those, so 8 goes into there 3, 8 goes into there 20 times, oh, I guess that would be, so um, looks like we get 20 
over 3 uh, gallons. So I would probably make that into a decimal. So it takes 20 divided by 3. And I'm not afraid to do this, remember? Now notice we're into a repeating decimal here, right? So if we were to round, I would say um, 6.67 gallons to go 160 miles. So that's pretty good. Um, get help if that was uh, difficult for you. Uh, it's really just getting used to the idea of cross-canceling out units, right? And it can be fun if you let it. So, um, now I double-checked to see what they wanted in the back of the book, or in the solutions manual, and they had a fraction here, which is, it didn't say what how to answer it, so... Um, I wouldn't say this is wrong. However, we, we were working with fractions, so maybe I should have answered this with fractions. So instead, when we get to 20 thirds, we'd say 3 goes into 26 times remainder 2. So we could say 6 and 2 thirds gallons. Okay. But if you got 6.67 and you had that on a test, I would count that as um, correct. So. This is what the back of the book had, or the solutions manual had, and I can see why, but they're both correct.